You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News at 11. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday night. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. Governor Larry Hogan says enough is enough and that it's time to seriously address violent crime in our city. This comes after the city surpassed 300 homicides for the seventh year in a row. You know, the governor also had some harsh words for the city state's attorney. WMER 2 News Ray Strickland joins us live in Baltimore tonight. And Ray, the governor is now threatening to withhold funds to the state's attorney's office. Yes, Kelly, Governor Larry Hogan is partly blaming the state's attorney for the crime issues in the city, claiming her office doesn't want to prosecute violent criminals. He says the state will now conduct a review of her office, of Marilyn Mosby's office. But Mosby says those claims are simply not true. And he says, she says the governor's press conference was a political stunt. This horrifying violence is tearing Baltimore City apart. Governor Larry Hogan says violence in Baltimore is out of control. He called it heartbreaking and unacceptable. The people of Baltimore are hurting. They're scared. You know, During the press conference, the governor the, uh, announced overwhelmed. several actions to address violent crime, including using state police to help patrol the city. He also says he plans to introduce emergency legislation next month. The governor is calling for tougher penalties for violent offenders. People are being shot nearly every single day in Baltimore City. And we have an obligation to do something about it right now. Governor Hogan also criticized city leaders, specifically state's attorney Marilyn Mosby, Five for policies. He says she's partly to blame for what's happening in the city. We also need a prosecutor who will actually prosecute violent criminals. Governor Hogan says the state will conduct a review of her office and he may block funding if she doesn't share complete data. Mosby says she's willing to give the governor whatever he needs. She also denied claims that her office stopped prosecuting violent crimes. For the governor to come out today and say that my prosecutors, they don't do their jobs, that they don't prosecute violent criminals, that they don't sweat blood and tears for the safety of everyone in this city is a disgraceful lie. Mayor Brandon Scott responded to the governor's criticism, saying he won't point the finger, but instead wants everyone to come together to address the issue. To deal with the amount of public safety issues that we have here happening in the city, really happening across the state and around the country, it's going to take an unprecedented uh, level of cooperation. And State's Attorney Mosby says the governor already has some of the data that he's asking for. She also says she is willing to work together with him on this issue. Now, it's unclear if the two plan to meet, but we do know that the governor is planning to meet with Mayor Brandon Scott sometime soon. Live in Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. All right, thanks a lot, Ray. Senate President Bill Ferguson also sharing his thoughts on Governor Hogan's announcement, calling it performative politics. He says the governor can act faster than the General Assembly and should, if he wants to, combat crime. He says, quote, Marylanders need immediate solutions like increased coordination between state and local agencies, a strengthened division of parole and probation that anticipates the direct correlation between being a victim of violence and a perpetrator of one, and strategies that recognize poverty shapes outcomes. He adds the governor's actions are reactive rather than proactive solutions. $21,000, it's how much you can get if you can help solve the murder of this 13-year-old. You know, before that news conference, the governor tweeted the state is adding $8,000 to the reward for information for Malia Turner's death. She was killed last Thursday right outside the Lillian Jones Rec Center in Sandtown. If you know anything, please call Metro Crime Stoppers. New tonight at 11 o'clock, Baltimore City Police are looking into human remains found inside a home. Police were called to the building on North Gilmore Street after a home inspector found the remains. Because the home was vacant, it's not clear if the person lived there or not. Investigators are trying to figure out who the person is and how they died. At this point, police are treating the death as suspicious.